Hi students, in the last class, we discussed about eight separation methods. What are they? First one is hand picking, second one is winnowing, third one sieving, fourth one sedimentation, fifth one decantation, sixth one crystallization, seventh sublimination, eighth distillation. We are only left with two more topics. Ninth one is chromatography, tenth one is filtration. We will discuss these topics in your classroom session. Now we will start the last and final lesson in your chemistry. Its name is fiber to fabric fiber to fabric what is the meaning of fabric means cloths fabric means cloths okay why we are wearing cloths we are wearing cloths to protect our body from different different weather conditions we will wear different different type of cloths in different different types of seasons selection of cloths may vary from person to person choice of cloths may vary from person to person it depends upon the choice of the owner personality of the owner and also cost the factors which affects the selection of a perfect fabric is the selection of a perfect fabric depends upon three factors first one is selection of the owner choice of the owner second one is personality of the owner personality of the owner third one cost is also an important factor third factor is cost okay this is about introduction to fabrics first i will start with the definition of fiber then i will discuss the definition of fabric first we will discuss about definition of fiber what is the definition of fiber thin thread like structures thin thread like structures obtained from plants or animals are called fibers thin thread like structures not thread like structure very thin thin thread like structures obtained from plants or animals are called fiber say for example let us assume it is a it is up it is cotton it is obtained from cotton ball thin thread like structures these are called thin thread like structures these are called thin thread like structures not thread these are thin thread like structures obtained from plant or animals are called obtained from plants or animals or chemicals are called fibers okay definition thin thread like structures obtained from plants or animals or chemicals or chemicals are called fibers that means thin thread like structures obtained from plants obtained from animals obtained from chemicals are called fibers okay what next what is the definition of yarn what is the definition of yarn what is the definition of yarn thread like structures it is thin thread like structures it is thread like structure that means thread like structure means this is the thread like structure this is thread it is different from thin thread like structure it is different from thin thread like structure these are very small threads this is the thin thread like structure it is thread like structure it is thread they are thin thread like structure yarn means thread like structures present in the fabric thread like structures present in the fabric that means cloth is called yarn that means fabrics are made up of yarn fabrics are made up of this type of yarn so fabrics are made up of this type of yarn okay again yarn are made up of fibers yarn are made up of fibers okay say for example take small cotton fiber in one hand take some cotton fiber in one hand with the help of second hand with the help of thumb and four finger if you twist if you pull out the sum of the cotton from first hand like this on twisting on twisting on twisting you will get a thread like structure like this you will get a thread like structure like this in this way yarns are prepared from fibers that means that means fiber combination of fibers forms yarns combination of yarns forms fabric say for example this is a cotton ball say for example this is a cotton ball this black color is cotton seed first remove cotton seed from the cotton ball then you will get this type of cotton cotton then combination of the combination of these small thin combination of these small thin threads combined to form yarn combination of these thin 
threads to form a single yarn combination of small pieces of threads combined to form a long thread like this this is called yarn okay next next cloth is made up of yarn when you place yarns as horizontal horizontal and vertical you will get cloth horizontal and vertical okay this is about cloth that means fabric made up of made from yarn yarn made from fiber so a combination of fiber is called yarn combination of yarns is called fabric the def the meaning of fabric is cloth the meaning of fabric is cloth simply simply small thin threads are called fibers this type of threads are called yarns this is called fabric this is called fabric fabric made up made from thin made from thread like structures yarn made from thin thread like structures this is about introduction to definition of fiber fabric yarn now i will explain different types of fibers different types of fibers that means different types of this type of small thin thread like structures okay now i will explain the classification of fibers classification of fibers fibers are classified into two types they are natural fibers synthetic fibers fibers are two types one is natural fiber second one is synthetic fiber natural fibers synthetic fiber so first definition of natural fiber fibers obtained from nature simply fibers obtained from nature are called natural fibers simply thin thread like structures obtained from nature nature is nothing but plants and animals thin thread like structures obtained from plants or animals are called natural fibers if a fiber obtained from plant immediately we will call it as natural fiber a fiber which is obtained from animal we will call it also as natural fiber thin thread thin threads which are obtained from animal or plant are called natural fiber say for example this is an example for natural fiber or artificial fiber it is an example for natural fiber why because it obtains from cotton plant it obtain, obtains from cotton plant okay examples are examples for natural fiber very very important for your examination point of view give any four examples give any two examples for cotton fibers examples for natural fibers are first one is cotton cotton obtained from animal or plant cotton fiber obtained from plant cotton plant jute jute obtained from jute plant okay this is the jute this is the jute thread jute fiber this is jute ganni bags are made from jute this is ganni bag okay in telugu gona sancha okay jute also obtained from jute plant next silk silk obtained from silk worms cocoons of silk worms cocoons of silk worms silk obtained from cocoons of silk worms that means silk obtained from plant or animal silk obtained from actually animal that is nothing but bird okay we will call it as animal okay last and final one wool wool obtained from sheep or goats one type of goat special type of goats and sheep so cotton jute silk wool are examples for natural fibers in examination point of view question like this odd one out is option a cotton option b jute option c silk option d polyester among all the four which one is odd one out polyester is odd one out out why because first three are examples for natural fibers the last one is example for artificial fiber or synthetic fiber so this is about natural fibers thin threads which are obtained from animals or plants are called natural fibers so next we will go to explain another definition synthetic fibers simply thin thread like structures obtained from plants or animals are called natural fibers thin thread like structures obtained from chemicals that means they are prepared in the laboratory they are prepared in the factory by using chemicals they are not obtained from plants or animals they are only obtained from by reactions by chemical reactions if you will get thin thread like structures that thin thread structure like are called synthetic fiber thin threads which are obtained from chemicals are called synthetic fibers okay examples for synthetic fibers are polyester polyester used used as collar cloth it is used as a collar cloth polyester 
another one is lenin cloth lenin it is a brand name also lenin shirts lenin trousers lenin third one is nylon fourth one is rayon okay only two are there in your syllabus these two are there in your eighth class syllabus it is an extension in your eighth class first one is polyester is an example for synthetic fiber lenin is an example for synthetic fiber nylon is also an example for synthetic fiber rayon is also example for synthetic fiber okay up to now we discussed about the definition of fiber definition of yarn definition of fabric and def classification of fibers into synthetic fibers natural fibers now i will explain different types of materials made from different types of synthetic fabrics fabric what is different from fiber fiber is different from fabric fabric means cloth fiber means a thin thread like structure thin thread like structure fabric means cloth simply call this is called fabric this is called fabric fiber means thin thread like structures thin thread like structures are called fibers now i will explain different types of things made from different types of fabrics that means cotton fabric silk fabric polyester fabric linen fabric from which we can prepare which type of materials i will explain with one table okay so we know whenever you have you have some idea about cotton cloth polyester trousers nothing but pants jean pants okay kurtas dhotis so we have some idea these all are made made from cotton fabric or woolen fabric or silk fabric or polyester fabric or linen fabric so in our day to day life synthetic fibers and natural fibers are very useful okay synthetic and natural fibers are very useful so first we start with one table there in your textbook okay fabric things made from fabric fabric things made from fabric okay fabric things made from fabric so first we start with cotton cotton fabric cotton cotton fabric cotton cloth simply cotton cloth with the help of cotton cloth the things made from cotton fabric are first one shirts cotton shirts cotton shirts second one sarees cotton shirts cotton sarees third one dresses dresses cotton shirts cotton sarees that means things made from cotton fabric or shirts sarees dresses dhotis 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 shirts sarees dresses dhotis and door curtains door curtains are the things made from cotton these are the some things made from cotton for your standard okay next so second thing is this. second one is silk from silk fabric the things made from silk fabric are first one is sweaters shoes from silk fabric we can prepare sweaters and shoes okay we can also prepare silk shirts also there silk shirts also sorry so with the help of silk we can prepare shirts silk shirts silk sarees silk sarees and finally kurta 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 long shirt is called kurta long type of shirt is called kurta okay kurta this is about silk fabric shirts sarees kurta very very important kurta okay third one first one cotton second one silk third one wool wool in winter season we are wearing woolen shirts that means sweaters sweaters are example for 
sweater is the example for thing which is made from wool fourth one sweater is an example for the thing which is made from wool fabric wool obtained from animal goat or sheep silk obtained from silk worms cotton obtained from cotton seeds that is nothing but cotton plants fourth one polyester this word is new to you polyester polyester it is also we will call it as in normally we will call it as polyester 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 actually its pronunciation is polyester it is used in preparation of it is used in preparation of like shirts like cotton shirt we will prepare polyester shirts and also dhotis shirts dhotis and trousers trousers nothing but pants trousers trousers okay with polyester fabric we can prepare shirts cotton that means polyester shirts polyester dhotis polyester trousers and also sarees and also sarees next we are only left with another one linen we are left with another one linen we are left with another one linen okay things made from linen fabric or things made from linen fabric or shirts trousers shirts trousers we can prepare dhotis okay with linen fabric we can prepare shirts and trousers trousers nothing but pants these are the things made from different types of fabrics this table is there in your test book okay with cotton shirts sarees dresses dhotis door curtains with silk fabric we can prepare shirts sarees kurta with wool we can prepare sweaters and also shoes okay with polyester fabric we can prepare shirts dhotis trousers sarees with linen cloth with linen fabric we can prepare shirts trousers these are the some things made from fabric so many other things are also prepared from this particular fabric for your standard it is enough for you this is about fabrics things made from fabrics okay now i will explain another concept property characteristics of different types of fabrics characteristics of different types of fabrics characteristics of different types of fabric with the help of a table i will explain the different types of characteristics of fabric that means different fabrics are having different different types of properties natural fabrics having one type of properties artificial synthetic fabrics are having another type of properties i will explain with one particular table okay write down this table serial number serial number first one is serial number next second character third one natural fiber fourth one synthetic fiber synthetic fiber okay serial number character natural fiber synthetic fiber first we start with first character first character water absorbing nature water water absorbing nature water absorbing nature character of fabric fabric nothing but cloth water absorbing nature okay say for example these two are different types of cloth these two are different types of cloth one is made from cotton fabric another is made from some another silk fabric or polyester fabric if you observe this is having some elastic character it is having some elastic character but it is not having any elastic character it is not having any elastic character so we will discuss this type of properties in this particular table so first one is water absorbing nature water absorbing nature is more for natural fibers is more for natural fibers 
that means water absorbing nature is more for cotton silk wool cotton silk wool jute that means water absorbing nature is more for cotton silk wool jute next what about synthetic fiber synthetic fiber absorbs water in less quantity less water absorbing nature is less for synthetic fibers water absorbing nature is less for synthetic fiber say for example we are we can prepare we prepare umbrella cloth with umbrella cloth with nylon fiber nylon fabric why we are prepared umbrella cloth with nylon fabric it is waterproof it does not absorb water that means synthetic fibers is having less of less water absorbing nature less or zero absorbing water nature so water absorbing nature is more for natural fibers less for synthetic fiber this is the first property okay if a cloth absorbs more water it takes more time to dry if a cloth absorbs more water say for example this cloth absorbs more water it takes more time to dry okay so second property time taken to time taken to dry time taken to dry time taken to dry synthetic fiber natural fibers absorbs more amount of water so they take more time to dry so answer is more that means time taken to dry for natural fibers is more time taken to dry for synthetic fibers is less that means they absorb less amount of water so they take less time to dry okay this is about second characteristics of fabric third one smell on burning smell on burning smell on burning smell on burning if you heat natural fiber the smell appears as the smell absorbed as burning paper smell or burning hair smell burning paper smell or burning hair smell that means natural fiber burns on burns on on burning natural fibers gives which type of smell on burning natural fibers gives which type of smell which gives smell similar to burning paper smell or burning hair smell burning paper smell smell like burning paper or smell like burning hair hair okay smell on burning of synthetic fiber gives a pungent smell in telugu got aina vasana pungent smell that means a fiber which gives pungent smell on burning that fiber we will call it as synthetic fiber a fiber gives burning paper smell or burning hair smell that fiber is natural fiber pungent smell pungent smell that got aina vasana in telugu okay this is about smelling on burning next fourth property result after burning after burning which substance is formed after burning which substance is born if you burn this cloth after burning which substance is formed result after burning result after burning result after burn after burning ash is formed on burning natural fibers it produces ash in telugu boodida hash is formed hash is formed hash is formed in the case of synthetic fibers synthetic fibers melts on heating without formation of hash there is no hash formed in synthetic fibers on burning synthetic fibers does not produce any hash they melts without formation of ash there is no hash that means melts without formation of without without formation of ash that means there is no product formed in burning of synthetic fiber the product formed after after burning is ash in the case of natural fibers so ash is formed in the case of natural fibers no product no ash is formed in the case of synthetic fiber this is about fourth one next fifth one fifth one smoothness smoothness 
smoothness of natural fibers is less smoothness of synthetic fibers is more smoothness of natural fibers is less synthetic fibers is more smoothness of natural fibers that is cotton silk jute wool is less when compared with synthetic fibers next last one last property that is sixth one sixth one flex that last one is the stretching capacity stretching capacity stretching capacity stretching capacity or flexibility stretching capacity already i explained okay this particular cloth is having stretching capacity more this cloth is having stretching capacity when compared with this particular cotton okay it is not having any stretching capacity if you stretch it will broke into two pieces okay that means stretching capacity of natural fibers is less when compared with stretching capacity of synthetic fiber so stretching capacity is less for natural fibers more for synthetic fibers these are the properties of different different fibers in your examination point of view lo for eight marks question write the differences between synthetic fibers and natural fibers for eight marks question otherwise they given this particular table without any answers like this you fill that particular table for eight marks question so i once again i will repeat this particular one natural fibers is having high water absorbing nature synthetic fibers is having less water absorbing nature natural fibers takes more time to dry synthetic fibers takes less time to dry next another one smell when natural by if you heat natural fiber it produces smell like burning paper or smell like burning hair if you heat synthetic fiber with the help of flame with the help of gas stove or something it produces pungent smell got in a vasana in telugu pungent smell the result after burning of natural fiber is ash that means ash is produced on burning of natural fiber no product no ash is produced on burning of synthetic fiber simply synthetic fiber melts on heating no product is formed no ash is formed next smoothness of natural fibers is less when compared with synthetic fibers flexibility or stretching capacity of natural fibers is less when compared with synthetic fibers okay write down homework and do this homework in your test book i will write homework for you okay write down homework okay question 1 homework define the terms define the terms first first one define the term a fiber second one b fabric 3 yarn define these three definition next second question fibers obtained from plants and animals are called dash fibers okay fill the answer with suitable answer last question fibers obtained from chemicals are called dash fibers okay this is homework for you okay in this session we discussed about introductory part to fiber to fabric lesson definition of fiber definition of air definition of fabric how air is how fiber is converted into air how air is converted into fabric in the next session we will discuss the different type of process that is spinning and weaving okay thank you so much